Let's do this just like last week on three win. One, two, two three, three, win! My father took me for a vacation to, uh, to Israel to look at uh, yeshivas for a year. And uh, on the trip we went to uh, Tel Aviv, we went to Beit HaTfutzot. And um, on the wall there, there was a, a picture of Hakoch. And uh, I knew nothing about it at the time. Being the soccer fanatic that I am, I was shocked to learn that there was a, a Jewish team that was so dominant in the 1920s. And later just finding out that you know my great-grandfather was one of those people who went to the polo grounds to see Hakoch when they came on tour here in New York. Um, and knowing how big of a soccer fan he was, um, it, just, it just felt right, it felt like, you know, destiny. Okay, we hope to win against this game, two games in a row. We're in a good shape, and we're going to do it. Three points, let's go, let's do this! I put the word out there, uh, all the local college rosters, I uh, scouted them to see if anybody went to either Jewish high school or just by surname. It could be that they are um, Jewish. Um, the goal with that was to pull on people who would feel an immediate connection to the club and, and it would be easier to recruit them. Basically, Ron found me and invited me and I just thought uh, it's a really cool idea. Actually, a pretty competitive league that we play in. Great group of guys and kind of cool to play with a bunch of other uh, fellow Jews and, and be out there competing. So. Akwah means a lot for Israeli people, you know. First of all, Akwah being from back in the early 19, uh, 1900s, which was a good team, and then my father grew up in Ramat Gan, and Akwah Ramat Gan was his club, so it's like I'm keeping the tradition, you know. With, with all the stuff going on in the world, uh, there's no hiding that we're Jewish. Uh, you know, people people can see it uh, if they look into the name at all with El Al on our shirt. People know right away uh, that we're Jewish. Man. Why can't we have more games like this, man? Right. You gotta make the schedule like this, man. Next year you gotta uh, find Put like some every, stuff up on the internet. Um, that's how I got top quality uh, players who, who aren't Jewish and want to play the game and have a love of the game. Well, I was looking for somewhere to play and I went online and I think Ron posted something on NJ.com. So I emailed them and told them to come out and try out for them. It's just sports and friends, it's not something else. So I want to. Nobody can stop you. Nobody, this is 12 goals, my friend. 12, 7 games. 7 games, 12 goals. If I could look back at my life personally and say that uh, I built something uh, for the community, I always want to feel as though I've made a difference in this world. and. Uh, and even if it's something small and something that I love and not everybody else loves soccer, it's still, uh, it's still huge. One, two, three, Shabbat Shalom! That's what I said! Wait, wait, wait. Shabbat Shalom on Sunday, huh?